Hello all. In this lecture, we are going to learn about addition of matrix using functions. Okay. So we are starting with hash include stdio.h, then into main. As I said, we are writing the functions. I had created a function matrix add, and uh, whenever our cursor comes here, it will move directly to the called function. So this main is your calling function and this matrix add is your called function. So you'll just directly enter into this function and here you'll get, uh, uh, I had declared few variables like R for rows, C for columns and uh, A matrix and B matrix. As I said, matrix will have rows and columns. It is two by two matrix, right? Two dimensional matrix and their sum is stored in the uh, this sum matrix and this i loop is used for rows and comparison and j is used for the column so first i'm asking user to enter number of rows you want so between 100 because uh, i had declared columns and row size as 100 so within that we can give any value so we can give some r value that is rows and uh, some c for columns and then enter elements of the first matrix as i said your matrix representations are like uh, as i uh, had considered a matrix its representation will be a00 a01 a02 like that you will have right so if i take two by two matrix i'll have the uh, matrix a values as a00 a01 a0 a10 and a11 right so according to that i'm taking the values and i'm storing it into the a matrix and similarly the second matrix is being also considered like here so b00 b01 b10 b11 so into that the values will be stored and while adding i had to check out the value conditions like for i is equals to 0 and i said rows and columns as 2 by 2 matrix so 0 less than r condition is true and then you will enter into this second for loop j is equals to 0 j is 0 less than c value also i had given to so condition is true and then you will enter into this so sum of i value is 0 j value is 0 is equals to a of 0 0 plus b of 0 0 so whatever the value is there in a of 0 0 and b of 0 0 that one will be added and so, uh, stored in sum of 0 0 place right so then your j value will be incremented that time it will become sum of 0 1 is equals to a of 0 1 plus b of 0 1 so whatever the values are there at a of 0 1 plus b of 0 1 that one will be summed and stored into sum of 0 1 Next year, J value will be incremented. It will become 2. So, 2 less than C, uh, 2 condition false. Then, I value will be incremented, right? So, I, I value will become 1. So, 1 less than 2 condition is true. So, then, again, you will come and check the condition. J is equals to 0. 0 less than 2 condition is true. So, here, what will happen? Sum of 1. 0 is equals to a of 1 0 value plus b of 1 0 value these two you will add and you'll uh, uh, store that into sum of 1 0 similarly you will perform the sum of 1 1 is equals to a of 1 1 plus b of 1 1 and then that is stored in the sum of 1 1 value so that is what the addition of the matrix is done so now after uh, doing addition i also need to print those values right so for printing again you will use the same for loops uh, only one extra condition you will use is if j is equals to c minus 1. That is, after uh, printing one complete row, I wanted the next values to be in the next line, not continuously. If I, so, for 2 by 2 matrix means we'll have 4 values. I can't leave uh, in single row, right? I, want, I wanted to show that columns and rows into uh, the matrix. So, for that reason, we are using if j is equals to c minus 1, then you will just give one slash in. That is, in the new line, you will start printing the values, right? So, then finally, you close those two for loops and the finally method, uh, matrix method will be closed and then you will come back to the calling function and then in calling function, I had just given simple return 0 and quitting from your main function, right? So, let us compile this and uh, uh, run it. So, when you will compile and run, it is asking like to enter the row size and to enter the column size and it is asking the values 2, 3, 4, 5 and for the second matrix, I am giving 1, 2, 1, 2. See here, sum of the two matrices. So, A of 0, 0. So, 2 plus 1, it is 3. Next, 3 plus 2, it is 5. Next, 4 plus 1, it is 5. 5 plus 2, it is 7. So, this is what is the sum of uh, 
uh, two matrices uh, using C programming. Okay. So I think this is clear for everyone. Thank you all.